Hi everybody and welcome. Today I'm in Ireland and it's actually starting to rain. Believe it or not and I'm asking God please stop the rain for a little while while we do this little film take um, and I want to talk about you know the sleeping trees. Trees go asleep at this time of the year but they give us so much as well as they're starting to sleep and even when they are sleeping and how important they are to us. So come this way and I just show you this because I think this is very important to remember maybe when you're out walking today. I know the evenings are getting shorter in different parts of the world so the sun is not out as long but walk up to a tree that has no leaves on it and just have a look at the branches and see what you can spot. Now this one gives a very clear, these are already the buds for spring. It's preparing for springtime to come to life again, to look so beautiful for all of us, but as well to clean the air. And I, th I think that is so important. And we have to protect trees while they're sleeping. We mustn't say they look ugly because they look very beautiful. We, we need trees, but you can see all the buds all along this branch here. Like, um, I, just, I just think it's so beautiful when you look up at a sleeping tree. You know, no leaves there at all. This one is completely asleep. And yet, you know, the buds are sticky. It has, it's protecting, like, you know, even if you put your finger on them, but I would ask you not to, if possible, but you could experience with one bud. It's like glue, it sticks to you. You know, um, it pulls on your skin. So this is the leaf, the tree, protecting this bud for spring so that it can burst and blossom and take in all the energy of the sun for the tree to come back to life. And just imagine, you know, this is the time of the year that, you know, our days get shorter. You know, the sun is not out as much. But we have to make such an effort to get out when it's bright. So if you're in work and lunch hour comes, I would say to you, don't stay in the office or in the canteen. Try and get outside and enjoy the sleeping trees. Enjoy knowing that when you look down at the ground, everything is starting to sleep. And then remember, you know, the animals that hibernate as well. And just, it's a different kind of energy, you know, and it's a, how would I say, it's a pure and good energy. Just because they're sleeping doesn't mean that they're not giving off energy. It doesn't mean that because everything is starting to sleep in the ground that there's no energy coming up. It's a clearer energy. It's different than the energy in the spring and in the summer. And I just love it. It's kind of more like, how would I say it? It's more crystal clear. It's not full of so many other elements that maybe that's the way I can put it in that way. Um, and just enjoy, if you're out walking and there's leaves on the footpath or on the grass, you know, give them a little kick and thank them for being on the ground and, and thank them for this happening to them, for them changing colour and at a time when the trees were so beautiful with different colours as it started to sleep. And again, it's to remember that even the grass stops growing. You know, it partly goes asleep. And then again in the spring, everything shoots up. And during this time of year, that's what you have to think of. You know, you might be feeling a bit chilly, you might be feeling, oh, the sun is not out, I can't go out. But do go out and take in all of the wonders as you look around. Like, 
I even love, you know, the cattle over here. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a beautiful tree there beside the cow and the calf, and it's, it's got a berry on it. And that tree is gone asleep as well. And I, I think that's incredible. It's gone asleep, but it has left something behind. It has left food behind for nature, for the birds, maybe for the squirrels as well, maybe for the mice and other little critters, um, probably even for, you know, some small little insects that we don't like ourselves. You know, we say, ouch, don't like them, but they're all precious. And I just think that is so, so beautiful. Just looking in the distance and seeing the red and knowing that's food for nature, that that beautiful tree has left behind. You know, I would often see birds flock to a tree like that and nearly all the fruit would be gone. All those berries would be gone. You know, they would be eaten up so quickly. And then if you look across here at this other beautiful tree, it's not fully asleep yet. It's still got lots of leaves on it. And I think that's amazing. Just think about it. You know, we've had storms. We've had lots of rain. The wind has been so strong. And we see leaves blowing in the air from trees. But yet, the miracle is, you know, these leaves are held on by a tiny piece onto the tree. And they don't just blow off with the first wind or the first storm. They hang on. And we never think about how strong they are. You know, we just kind of take these things for granted. But I want you to go out now on these days that are duller in so many ways, but yet are full of life. And for you to recognize them and Fill yourself with that energy. You know, allow yourself to feel good. So I just want to say thank you and I love you. Okay? And I hope that helps to cheer you up in every single way. So God bless. Love you. Bye-bye.